Good morning, YouTube. All right, if you haven't figured it out already, we have landed in Boston, but this morning turned out to be a little bit of a cluster screw. I screwed up, but we made it. So this morning we flew out of Atlanta. And for those of you who don't know, it takes us about two to two and a half hours to get to the Atlanta airport from home in North Carolina. That's why we got up so early. And uh, we were probably an hour and a half into the ride when I realized that I forgot my wallet. Yeah, I left my ID, my credit cards, everything sitting on my dresser at home. And well, by that time, there was no way to turn around and go back and get it without all of us missing our flights. So we called my daughter and uh, she was gonna head down and bring my license to me and hopefully that she was gonna make it before we got on the plane. But then we talked to somebody at the airport and uh, they said that because it was a domestic flight, as long as I could reasonably prove who I was, which wasn't easy, they would let me on. So we had to go through a few extra security measures, but eventually, because my wife was with me, she had ID, same name, it was challenging. They didn't want to take everything that we had, but either way, they let us on the plane, and now we're here. Let's hope the rest of the day goes better. Well, it's a little bit cold and rainy here in Boston. It's not like actively raining right now, but you can see the mist in the air and it's overcast. And it's in the high 30s, low 40s, some of that area. It's not, not bad, but it's just definitely cool. We are currently waiting for Amanda to get here. So Larry's flight landed earlier today. So Amanda came and picked him up, but she had so much stuff in her car that we had shipped for our display at this event. No, she couldn't fit Larry and the three of us in the car as well with all that. So she took Larry to go check into the hotel and unload the car. And she's on her way back right now to get us. So we still got about another half hour, 45 minutes till she gets here. Then we can go get checked into our hotel. Hi, Amanda. All right, guys, I know it may sound kind of stupid, but I always told myself that if I ever made it to Boston, I'd have to come by and stop at Cheers. I was a big fan of the show back in the 80s when I was a kid. And about two years ago, I actually rewatched the entire 11 seasons on Netflix. Just brought back a bunch of memories of childhood. So we're here. Had to come and do it. This mic coming out late. All right, guys, we made it to the hotel over in Marlboro, and uh, we're all hungry. It's been quite the long day. The trip we took to go to Cheers ended up being a much longer fiasco than we had intended it to be. So when we got off the plane, I looked at the maps, and the Cheers bar was only like 2.9 miles away, and it was kind of the direction we needed to go to get out here. So that seemed like a perfect plan. We can swing by there, get our photo op, and then move on. But somehow, we made a wrong turn getting on to 93 and ended up going south instead of north. And that was going to take us like 10 miles out of the way and loop us back up around. But the traffic was so bad, it just wasn't even moving. 
And I don't know exactly what happened after that, but somehow it took us to an 84 Beacon Street, which was the address of the Cheers Bar, but in another town called Milton something or another, which turned out to be like 20 something miles away. Maybe not quite that much, but it was still like a 30 minute drive to get back to where we wanted to go when we had already driven like 45 minutes of the wrong direction. So then we finally got our photo op at the Cheers location. We jumped back in the car and then to get to the hotel was only what 24 miles or 27 miles or something like that hour and a half to get back the traffic was just absolutely terrible so our little three mile excursion ended up taking us almost three to four hours to actually get done all right guys so we had dinner at longhorn and it was pretty much fantastic and now we're out running around at walmart picking up a couple last minute things before we head back to the hotel and settle down for the night but if you look, man, the fog has set in. So I'm sitting here trying to drive around an area I don't know with fog and not being able to see my mirrors very well. It's a little challenging. All right, guys, back at the hotel in our little mini suite kind of thing. It's pretty nice. Got the, got the bedroom over here. Got the couch over here. And, and Amanda is testing out how she wants to sleep. Um, that thing is not comfortable at all. It doesn't. So it doesn't look comfortable. Be in some configuration yeah. of this. But uh, it's been it's a like long day. I mean, you know, three hours on a plane and seven hours in a car, and just we're kind of beat, kind of bush. So we're gonna uh, settle down for the night. Tomorrow we will be going to the convention center to do a quick setup. I don't know how much of a video that's gonna make. Maybe we'll just make a little short or something on it. We get all set up so you guys see what it looks like. I know this is kind of a boring video, but some of you said you wanted to travel with us on this trip so i figure maybe you'll like this travel vlog even though it's a little bit different than what we normally do anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching and until the next time we see you keep those engines running what she said <laughs>